can you make the, can you put your, there you go, one point, thank you, 1.1. 1. 1. Jesus Christ. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the birthplace of America, home to the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence and Constitution were signed. So much history, and some say a lot of ghosts. The unexplained team traveled to the city of brotherly love to investigate several paranormal hotspots known to be haunted by the spirits from the Revolutionary War of famous business owners and politicians some really crazy dressed apparitions, and possibly a pirate too. First stop, the world famous McGillan's Old Ale House in the heart of Philly. This watering hole opened to the public when Abraham Lincoln was elected president. Yeah, how about that? Catherine and William McGillan poured the first beer there in 1860. Ma and Pa McGillan raised their 13 kids upstairs from the bar. Pa McGillan passed away in 1901, and Ma took over the joint. Ma ran it until she passed away in 1937 at 90. Today, many people say their spirits remain, maybe ready to pour another glass of ale for their customers. Now, that sounds pretty good. Unexplained Cases teamed up with Donna from Philly Ghost Hunt to grab a pint and, yes, investigate the spirits of the old bar. Now, when you step inside the building, you can feel the energy of the tens of thousands of bar patrons who spent so many fun nights catching up with old pals at McGillan's. While the beer sounded good, yeah, we were thirsty, Rick, Donna, and I had important work to do to find out who or what haunted this place. On the main level, we captured spikes and EMF readings with our Mel meter. It measures changes in the electromagnetic field. It was holding fairly steady above a two, but with the electrical and water lines above and below, it's unlikely this was paranormal. So Donna pulled out her spirit box to figure out how many old timers were with us, wishing they could be drinking at the bar. Maybe even Ma McGillan herself. You guys stay in here? kind of check to make sure things are going well. Yeah. Is this Ma? Ma McGillan? Donna also used her dousing rods and had several interesting conversations with the famous folks of the establishment. So what I would ask is that uh, we'll ask a series of yes and no questions. That's one way we can use the dousing rods. And if your answer is yes, to open the rods wide. Just open them wide. Exactly. That's it. And if your answer is no, to close them and cross them. Make an X with them bring them in to the center, and then close and cross them. So if it's something that you don't agree with or you um, just don't have a, a, a yes as an answer, you can say no. And then to hold them straight ahead would be a neutral response. Um, maybe it's not applicable. Maybe uh, it isn't something you wish to discuss. Um, so that's one way to use the and rods. And the other way is that uh, we can use just one rod, and you can take me to an area that you'd like me to look at, or something you'd like to see and show me. Are we going to we're going to the pictures again? Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll use the one. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. 
So everyone that you pointed out, are they here right now? Yes, okay. Um, are, there, are there a lot of people from the McGillan family here? Okay. And how about the Spaniac family? Yes, okay. So, um, this is interesting. I had a lot of questions for the McGillans um, and the Spaniacs as well. Um, how many uh, people are here to speak? Um, maybe you could tell me by um, hitting the dowsing rods together, like tapping them together for the number that are here tonight. If you'd like to, would you like to? I get nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, So there are 21 spirits here tonight? Say hello. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. So I have some questions. Um, people use the word haunted. Uh, I don't know if I like the word, but uh, I can just ask and I don't mean to be offensive. Do you think the pub is haunted? Um, but I think haunted in a good way. Okay. So, um, do, does anyone stay here? Anyone in, in the family or maybe an old, pa maybe a patron who loved the place or perhaps somebody who worked here? Does anyone stay here like all the time, kind of live here or have a place in here that they like to stay? Okay. So you do, yeah, uh, who, you're going to show me, aren't you? Upstairs? Yep. Oh, you stay upstairs. Is it someone in the picture? Yes, and they stay upstairs. Okay, do you want to show me who? That would be Chris's great uncle. That wouldn't be one no, no, yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Joe. So you like to stay upstairs? Okay. We're not done. Ah, okay. I don't Peggy maybe? Chris told me her your name her name. Stays a lot? She, does she have a favorite place? In the pipe? Oh, she likes to stay in the bar area or in here? Okay. So do a lot of people stay here? Yes. Okay. Anybody visit? Do a lot of people visit too, I bet? Yeah. Okay. And do you guys ever interact with um, 
Chris, Chris's family? You do. And um, do you interact with the staff? I know that um, when I was here before, you said that you were here. You wanted to, some of you wanted to make sure that things were going well, and you check things out all the time. Okay. Now, a few staff have told me like they have some strange things with the lights and 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 different things. Is that you? Okay. Do you ever hide things? <laughs> So you uh, you enjoy the fact that the that the bar is open and that um, people come in and and enjoy it. Absolutely. In the upstairs of the bar, Donna pulled up a chair and started a conversation with who she believes was a former bar patron named Joe. Our SLS camera captured what appears to be someone actually having a drink with her. Take a look at that. The structured light sensor, or SLS camera, uses an infrared light projector with a monochrome CMOS sensor that shows the living and sometimes unexplained figures as dots and lines. I believe Joe's taking a seat. Yeah, Joe's sitting down with you. Trying to stand up, it looks like. After a few minutes, it was gone. He's on the move. One of the most haunted places is said to be down in the basement, the kitchen. Spooky and creepy indeed, especially when you are down there by yourself. I tried to connect with a spirit that has been living down there for well over a hundred years. I did get a few ticks on the melmeter.
a reading of zero point zero in the basement. Somebody here with me, could you make a noise? Maybe bang on one of these plates or pots and pans? Maybe you could knock something off of the shelf. Once again, my name is Darren. Not sure if I call your name. Anybody here with me right now? Could you put your energy around that device right there, like you just did? Can you light it up again? If there's anyone here in the basement with me, could you make a noise? Maybe move something on a shelf? Can you use your energy to make one of these pots or pans or utensils move? Maybe make it fall off the shelf? You're awful quiet. Is Mr. McGillan bound here? Or Mrs. Ma, are you down here? If you're down here, could you make a noise? Let me know you're here. device right here. Could you use your energy to try and make it light up again? Put your energy right around it. 
can touch it if you want to. Just to let me know that you're here and I'm not by myself. Anybody here right now? You can make a noise. Knock one of these things off the shelf. Can you bang on a wall? Use your energy to bang on the wall. Got a flare. Awful quiet. Awful quiet for somebody who's supposed to be down here making noise. I don't know if I introduced myself. My name is Darren. Thank you so much for letting us hang out in your your establishment. It's a wonderful place. Matter of fact, I'd like to get a drink here later. Maybe you could uh, make me something to eat. Can you make one of these ladles move? Maybe bang on one of these pots? to go if I don't hear from you. Oh, I see you dropped it down to a point eight. Can you make the numbers go up on that? Point nine. Can you bring it back up to one point two again? You're at a point eight. You were a one point two earlier. Can you make that go up above one? It bounced around from zero up to a two, but it is hard to say it was spiritual energy because there was a ton of metal and pipes all around me in the room. But something did make me jump out of my skin. Can you make the, can you put your, there you go, one point, thank you. 1.1. 1 .1. Jesus Christ. I think that was a machine. Something compressor kicked on. Our night at McGillan's old ale house was pretty interesting. A very cool place to investigate and of course, grab a cold one to wrap up a night. Philadelphia. Home to legendary football fans, Freedom, Cheesesteak Sandwiches, Rocky, and clearly Ghosts. During our visit, we gathered some compelling evidence that made the trip to the city of brotherly love well worth it. Reporting for Unexplained Cases in Philadelphia, I'm Darren Dito.